All right, back in the saddle. Don't know why I said that. I've literally never said that before. All right, it is no secret that film photography is seemingly getting more and more expensive in recent years. That's both with the cost of film itself and then also cameras. Cameras in recent years have gotten more expensive with the popularity of film. With that being said, this camera is what I want to talk about. And I have made videos on this specific camera before. It is the Pentax 645N. Despite film getting more expensive, I think that if you are looking to maybe further your film photography journey, and if you don't already own a medium format film camera, I actually think that this is a great option. So that's why I want to talk about this camera today. There's a few formats that are very common within the medium format world. There is the six by seven, which gives you 10 photos. There's six by six, which gives you 12. And then there is 645, which is what this camera falls underneath, which gives you 16 photos. There are other medium formats, but those three I would say are the most common that you're gonna find. It's the reason why you hopefully clicked on this video. Let's talk about cost. How much does this camera actually cost? I got this camera a couple of years ago. In fact, maybe a little over a couple of years ago, maybe two and a half years ago. And when I bought this camera, I actually got it for a price lower than what I'm about to share but it's still a very affordable camera coming in at under a thousand dollars for both the body and the lens. And I would say that that's pretty uncommon now. If you look at other medium format cameras, especially with larger formats like six by six or six by seven, they're definitely going to be over that price. But to find a medium format film camera that's still under a thousand dollars, I think is a steal. I'm going to actually share some screenshots of some prices that I actually looked up today on eBay. And you're gonna see that both with the body and with the lens, you're gonna find this camera for anywhere between 700 to $900. And I really think that if you dig enough, um, you're probably gonna find it closer to like seven, $800 range. Like I mentioned earlier, this Pentax camera is a 645 format camera and What's wonderful about that is, like I mentioned earlier, you get 16 photos, 16 negatives out of it. And when you really just think about from like an economical perspective, uh, compared to like a six by seven camera where you get 10 photos and then this where you get 16, you're already getting 1.6 times more photos out of a camera like this than say something like my Mamiya 7. And of course, the negatives are going to be bigger with larger formats. So six by six, will be larger negative than this. And then six by seven will have an even larger negative than a six by six. So you are really paying for resolution, I guess, when you get larger formats within medium formats. But this compared to 35 is still much larger. And again, I really believe that with the resolution that you get out of 645 and with this camera specifically, it's totally worth, it's such a good price. It's such a good steal to get this camera and still get really, sharp, uh, information rich negatives out of even a format like this. So if you are looking for a medium format film camera, let me just share some of the features of this camera that I really love so much. The first one has to be the autofocus. Not every medium format camera has autofocus. I would actually say that a lot of them don't especially when you start looking at six by six or six by seven, but within the six, four, five range, uh, it's nice to have a camera like this that has autofocus. That's actually very, very good. It's got a really bright and clear viewfinder, which, you know, that's not always the case with film cameras, but with this one, especially, uh, I wouldn't say it's the brightest viewfinder you're going to find on a medium format film camera but it's bright enough where it's pretty easy to compose your images, which is important. And so having a clean, bright viewfinder in a camera like this is wonderful. Probably my second favorite feature right underneath having autofocus is that this camera actually has a built-in internal light meter. And the reason why I find that so important is 
as you kind of get reps in with a camera like this and you understand how the light meter works and the different metering modes, uh, you really don't need an external light meter, which is also great because that's one less thing to carry around. But it also means that if you don't want to own one, you could get away with just using the internal light meter in this camera and saving money and not even owning an external light meter. So that's just another plus of this camera. It takes six AA batteries. It sounds like a lot because it kind of is. It actually sits underneath uh, in this battery grip. But what's nice about that is AA batteries are so easily accessible. You can find them anywhere and they're very affordable. That's not the case with all batteries that go into film cameras. Actually, most times you're gonna find that with many film cameras, they take very obscure batteries, batteries that you're not typically gonna always find at your nearest grocery store, and you may have to order online. But this camera taking six AA batteries is fantastic. This camera does take interchangeable lenses. I actually only have one for it. It's the 75 millimeter, which I would say is probably the most commonly used lens on this camera. There are a few other options, but it's just the one that I happen to have. And uh, yeah, it's cool that a camera body like this can take interchangeable lenses. Last but not least, this camera is a tank. I don't want to admit this, but a few weeks in when I got this camera, I actually dropped it. Uh, I was definitely bummed about it because I like taking care of my gear and it has a few scratches now, which is again, totally fine. It was in very good condition when I got it and it's still in good condition, but you know, some cameras may not have survived that fall or would have, you know, taken a bigger beating, but this camera truly a tank. I mean, it's, it's heavy too. It's hefty. It's got some uh, weight to it. So it's nice to have a camera that it's reliable. It's built very well and it can, um, you know, it can take, it can take it a little bit. So, uh, yeah, cameras, Build quality is wonderful. All right, so there are a few cons which I should share. Like I just mentioned, this camera is, it's built like a tank. One of the cons though is that it's heavy and it's not the most ergonomical shape. And so, you know, it doesn't really easily fit in like a sling bag or even your backpack if it's not a big one. And so it's a little harder to transport, but um, yeah, it's thick. Like it's thick. Another con which really doesn't affect my workflow is that it doesn't have interchangeable backs, which means that while you're shooting mid roll, you can't just pop off the back and then throw another back in maybe with like color black and white and just go in between those. Once you start the roll, you have to finish the roll before you take the back off. Other cameras in this format do offer interchangeable backs. So let's say you were shooting color, you're 10 frames in, you can pop it out put a black and white back in, shoot on that, and then go back and forth. It's just one of those features that doesn't come with the camera like this. But again, with my workflow, it doesn't really affect me too much. Uh, but that is definitely a con if you are looking to have interchangeable backs. And then the last thing is it's a digital film camera. And with all those features like the, the internal light meter, the autofocus, all of that comes from the six AA batteries that you're putting into the grip. Unfortunately, if those batteries die, the camera is inoperable. You know, I mean, I find that the battery life on this camera with regular use lasts a very long time, but it's good to have extra batteries on hand if you ever find yourself in a situation where the camera dies on you. Affordable, I know is subjective, but I think that if you're looking at medium format film cameras, this is a wonderful option. Hope you learned something and uh, I'll see you in the next one.